So today we're going to be unpacking some glass plate negatives that have been requested by one of our readers for copying. The glass plates in our collection date from before um, the 1900s, some of them, um, up until about the mid 20th century, and they fall into two format types. There's some wet plate collodions and there's also silver gelatin um, dry plates. So let's unpack this now and see what we've got. So the glass plates that we have in the collection uh, are often still in their original boxes, which is what we have here. So this is a bit of um, a mystery for us, a bit of a surprise as to what we're going to get. I'm wearing gloves because photographs are very sensitive to the oils and acids in our skin. The best way to unpack a box like this is basically to to turn it over so that you can unstack the plates um, rather than trying to pull them out of the box. So this is the precarious part where we do a turn. And we're unpacking them onto um, a nice softly wrapped board. So here you see that there's some packing paper and these are gelatin dry plates. So that's indicative from their color so that really contrasty colour that we've got there. And very dark. So a collodion would look like a light grey. And you can see here that there's also some um, silver mirroring, which is a form of deterioration on the plate. And it's caused primarily by moisture coming in from the sides and reacting with the silver that's in the image. So I'm going to look now for the plate that the reader has requested and we'll have a look at that on the light box. So for the best copy for the reader, we make sure that the plate is clean. Um, and to do that, we brush the emulsion side very gently with a very soft brush just to remove any loose dirt and then if the other side is dirty we will also clean the glass with a solution of alcohol and water. So I'm just going to quickly and gently <laughs> um, brush this side which is the emulsion side. The emulsion side is the side that looks a little bit more dull um, when it in the reflected light and so when we turn it over we'll be able to see that it's a little bit more reflective on this side, which indicates that this is the, the glass. So the solution I apply with um, cotton wool wrapped in tissue so that we don't leave any lint behind. Now that it's clean, we can have a look at it So once we've checked the, um, that we've cleaned it well, we then rehouse it into an archival four flap envelope, which we do so that we're basically improving the uh, preservation outcome of each plate as it's requested by the reader. Once it's been digitized, it will then be available for the reader and it won't be issued in the reading room. It goes back to storage. There you have it, last plate ready to go.